Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about the AI features on Menti. So if you're interested in finding out what the new AI features on Menti are, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've been a long-term fan of Menti. I love Menti because it's really interactive, it's really quick, you can gather data and, and send out questions and participants just use their phones to pick up a QR code and they can answer so you can actually collect a lot of information as you're going through any kind of talk or workshop. And the other thing that I love about Menti is that you can use it with PowerPoint as an add-in. So everything is really seamless. In other words, I can insert any Menti into my PowerPoint and I can just use my PowerPoint and present for my PowerPoint. So I had heard that they'd released, let me just move myself over here. They'd released uh, Start With AI Tool. So I thought, let's just explore this together. I'm gonna start with the AI tool here by pressing this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, most of my workshops are on AI powered pedagogy. So I'm going to ask it for something to do with what are people thinking in terms of AI adoption and maybe what tools and terms they use. So let me just dictate that. Can you create a presentation about AI adoption for teachers? Ask some questions about their thinking, their understanding and whether they know different terms, generate about 10 different slides. Okay, so let's see what it comes up with. So I've just dictated here, I'm gonna submit. And when you submit, the AI tool on Menti actually improves your prompt. So now it says, create a presentation on AI adoption for teachers, focusing on their understanding of various terms related to artificial intelligence. The session will include around 10 slides with interactive questions to gauge their thoughts and knowledge on the topic, aiming to enhance their familiarity with AI concepts and applications in education. So you could see I just gave a really simple prompt. Mentees just improved my prompt. So let's press submit and then see what it comes up with. I did try this before and it came up with some pretty good ideas. So I'm gonna go for, let's go for just the Menti light. I like to keep things light. And it's generating the draft now. I find it's a little bit easier for my astigmatism, not having a really dark background and dark slides. So that's why I always choose the light. Hang on tight, all right. I'm gonna make myself smaller so I'm not in the way. Your first draft is ready, start editing. All right, so I'm gonna press that and move myself down here to the bottom. All right, AI adoption for teachers, understanding AI concepts in education. That's an interesting picture that they've chosen. Okay, and then here's the agenda. There's an introduction to AI key terms, AI applications in education and interactive question and session and I can actually vote for how useful this was. I'm gonna vote a little bit later. So here is a word cloud. I always love to use the word clouds on Menti. Uh, what comes to mind when you hear the term artificial intelligence? And you can kind of gauge the thinking in the room, whether it's positive or negative or neutral. And then here we've got what is AI? And then there's a little definition here. So I wouldn't really present a workshop like this, but of course this is editable and it's given me some slides. I can change the layout too. So let's just try different layouts. If I just hover over here, I can try different layouts. So key terms, I mean, I want this to be a bit more interactive. So uh, let me see if, oh, I can update images. Let me see the one that I, oh, here we go, interactivity, let's press that and enable questions. Okay, so I would probably not be delivering so much information, but unpacking it through some interactive activities and discussion. Okay, here we go. Here is one. Which of the following terms are you familiar with? So maybe I would do this survey first, and then I would go to what are the key terms and discuss the key terms, right? So maybe the order might change for me. AI applications in education. So I'm just gonna close this window so we can see. Then we've got benefits, okay, yeah, it's not very, oh, here we go. What do you think is the big, biggest benefit of AI in education? Okay, so that's another interactive one, and then questions. Okay, I mean, I'd, I would probably edit this quite a bit to have more interactivity. 
Um, there's also templates that we can jump to that I normally use. So, so if I'm in a team meeting, workshop, brainstorming, training, team building, agile workflow, or there's a lot more categories here actually, meeting, check-ins, I usually look at the templates here. Let me show you an early one that I created that I think is a lot more interactive. So let's just go back here to my page and then you can see here, this one, AI adoption and knowledge session. So I just created this just to practice before I made this video. And here, it seems like there's a lot more interactivity. So what's the first word that comes to your mind? Which of the following are you familiar with? What are the benefits of AI adoption? And then here's a ranking. And what do you think the challenges are? So I think that this one actually was better when I didn't give it a slide restriction. I just said, you know, create the slide and it came up with five slides. I think as soon as I said 10 slides, it started delivering a lot of information, which, you know, we do, de we do need to deliver some information, but, you know, I like to balance it out with interactivity. Okay, so that was a quick one this week about Mentimeter. I've been using it for years. Uh, let me just quickly show you the different types of subscriptions. So I'm on, um, I actually upgraded from free to basic because I use it so much in my workshops that 50 participants per month was just not enough for me. And I have unlimited participants per month. I can import my slides from other tools and I can export my results. Uh, I, I don't need pro at the moment. Uh, it means that I can actually use all of my company branding and logo. I get around that by using the Mentimeter add-in on PowerPoint and embedding the Mentimeter slides inside PowerPoint. So I don't really need that. So let's just have a look at teachers and students. We can see it's uh, a little bit cheaper, more affordable, trying to support the education sector. Okay, so that was Mentimeter, the new AI tool, Mentimeter. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.